Hi guys! Today I'm doing another uh, sketchbooking video. Um, had a Jurassic Park movie marathon. So we were drawing dinosaurs. I thought I would uh, give um, some dinosaurs a try in my sketchbook. Um, I've never drawn dinosaurs. Well, I did when I was little, but not recently. So I, I don't have any practice with it. So his face kind of turned out kind of wonky. A little lizard. Kind of looks like a lizard in his face. Um, but I did have a lot of fun drawing him. Uh, I used graphite pencils, various various um, softnesses of graphite pencils. Right now I'm just doing the main sketch in just a, just a cheap construction pencil. Um, didn't know where to begin with it. I just drew in the main shapes and, and then I added the details after I got in the main shape of his body. Um, the funnest part of drawing this had to be his spikes on his back, the plates, his pl uh, his plates on his back. That was the best part for me. Um, I liked getting really detailed with that. Uh, I had trouble with the face right there, so I went I went back to it later to try to see if I could fix it. Here I am shading. I'm just using a regular blending stump and my finger. I know a lot of people, you know, there will be people that say, "Oh, don't use your finger." For, for smudging or for blending but if it works for you and you're just doing a quick sketch like I am here I don't see any harm in it I wouldn't do it on you know something that you were gonna give somebody because it just might leave oils um, from your skin on it but something like this in your sketchbook uh, if you're doing it fast and you just wanna you wanna get it in there and that's what you're comfortable with I don't see any problem with that so just do what works for you there I'm adding a little bit of his rib cage in to show you some more definition in his body <laughs> my son those are um, all the drawings my son did while I was doing this this drawing took me about 30 minutes and he did about uh, 10 to 12 drawings he started with T-Rex and then the Stegosaurus and then he did a bunch of Pokemon Pokemon drawings and he was showing them off there um, I really didn't have a, there was Pikachu, <laughs> I really uh, didn't have a whole lot to reference for um, for the Stegosaurus. Uh, I used one of his, his dinosaur toys which I'll show at the end so you guys could see what I used to reference. If you're looking to reference something like a dinosaur or you know any type of animal, you know, use a, use a toy as a reference. If you don't have a book to look at a picture, I don't have any books on dinosaurs. Um, I do have quite a bit of different dinosaur statues and toys around the house, so I probably will be drawing more of these just for fun. Um, this right here was my favorite part, adding the, de the definition into the, the back plates. That was, that was fun for me. I liked making them look uh, old and, and cracked. And just smudging everything, making it look smooth. And no sharp edges except on the tips. And then I just laid down some cardboard to protect his body from my, my hand so that the oils in my hand wouldn't leave an imprint. What I do is tail spikes here. And you kind of want to give them that twist appearance to make them look like they're, they're curving. Um, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like art videos in general, subscribe to my channel. I put them out um, as often as I can. I will be making more videos like this, just sketching, nothing major, just sketching in the sketchbook for practice. So stay tuned for those. If you guys want me to sketch anything specific, you can go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like me to, to draw. My son wants me to draw Pikachu. <laughs> so that's probably going to be an upcoming video. Here's his face. Um, I had a lot of trouble with the face. I had no idea how to make his face look like a dinosaur face. <laughs> Here's a little tip right there. Use one of those spiky eraser heads to add, um, you know, the roughness and the, it makes it look leathery and like rough hide. You just twist it, twist it on top of the paper and it, it just gives it a roughed up appearance and makes it look more real. So there's a tip for you guys if you're doing elephants or rhinos or dinosaurs or anything that has that rough looking skin, you can do that. And here I'm signing it, so video's over. I'm going to post some pictures here at the end for you guys to see. 
Um, so go ahead, leave me a comment if you want me to draw anything, and I will. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.